Welcome to episode 236. You're listening to LeaderCast, Transforming Missions podcast with Tim Bias and Sarah Thomas, providing you with resources to navigate the challenges and opportunities of courageous, Christ-centered leaders. We're on the third week in our series, Hope in the Ordinary Time. Throughout summer, each week we're sharing a short devotion in the pattern of read, reflect, respond, and return. These ordinary moments are stories from our lives and, f- and from the world. They speak to our common humanity and need for hope. This is the third in our series, and you can find this week as well as our two previous weeks on the show notes page. So head on over to transformingmission.org forward slash 236. This week, there are two scriptures. The first comes from Romans, and the second comes from Philippians. The Roman scripture, Romans 12, 15, rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. And our scripture from Philippians, Philippians started at Philippians 4, 4, is rejoice in the Lord's always, I will say again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we move into the reflect portion of our devotion, as I write this, my social media feed, mailbox, and text messages are filled with reminders of milestone moments in families' lives. It's graduation season. This is one of those years that seems like there are a lot of graduations taking place. For some of you, the raw emotions of the season are still fresh, even though we're now into summer and most graduation ceremonies are long complete. It's an odd mix of emotions that emerge at graduation. Pride and joy, happiness, grief, loss, wondering, worry, hope, love, elation, and so much more. But here's an emotion that I didn't name that I think sums it up perfectly. And it's probably not something that you use on a day-to-day basis. It's called Freudenfreude. It means taking joy in another person's success. Yes, it's a German word because our wonderful English language takes six words to describe that one word. Taking joy in another person's success. Receiving the graduation announcements is one of those moments that this year resulted in Freudenfreude. Perhaps it's the resilience I've seen from these high school and college students the past two years. Or maybe it's because their stories and futures are so bright. Maybe it's just age. Whatever it is, the pure joy of their success caught me a bit off guard this year. As I reflected on Freudenfreude, what I realized is they bring me not only joy, but hope. And I was reminded celebrating the success of others is just as important as supporting others in times of need. The happy moments deserve our attention just as much as the difficult ones. And sometimes we forget this. I think more than anything, it's simply good to finally celebrate something good. (laughs) The past couple of years have been as weird as they have been hard. Maybe the milestone for you this season is a birthday. Or maybe it's a birth, an anniversary, a wedding, or a retirement. Or maybe the milestone for you is an accomplishment that doesn't come with an award or a celebration. Those milestones are just as important. Don't overlook them. I hope whatever the milestone is you're experiencing right now, you share it with the people that are closest to you. You might just offer them the unexpected gift of Freudenfreude. Let's respond with prayer. Lord Jesus, you rejoice with us when we rejoice, and you mourn with us when we mourn. Thank you for allowing me to find joy in the success of others, to experience the power of emotions and the privilege of celebrating the success of the people closest to me. Guide me this day to be open to your joy. Amen. I want to remind all of you to 
at the end of the day, return to this question. When was the last time you experienced Freudenfreude? What brought you joy today? Give thanks to God for the people and the moments of joy you experience. As a reminder, the show notes page includes the prayer and the scripture for this week's devotion. Head over to transformingmission.org forward slash 236. And remember, who you are is how you lead. Bye for now.